Hi everyone, and welcome to Shavlik Protect. My name is Joe Andert, and I'm a technical communicator with Shavlik. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the IT Scripts feature. So, let's get started. The IT Scripts feature in Shavlik Protect supports the use of PowerShell 2.0 and WinRM 2.0, enabling you to execute a variety of scripts on the console and on your target machines. The first thing you should do when using the IT Scripts feature is to approve the scripts you want to use. This is done using the Script Catalog Manager. Each time you access the Script Catalog Manager, the program will automatically download and import the latest scripts that are available from Shavlik. If you have created your own custom scripts, you can add them using the Import Scripts button. When the import process is complete, all available scripts are displayed in the Manage IT Scripts dialog. If you select a script, the metadata that describes that script is displayed in the lower pane. For example, here's the metadata for the Check Disk script. Only approved scripts can be used within the program. For this example, let's approve the Check Disk script and two other scripts. This is a key security feature, as only those scripts that you approve will be available for use in the program. We can illustrate this by returning to the home page and selecting a script to run. To run a script, you select IT Script in the Select Confirm Operation box. You then select which of the approved scripts you want to run. Only the three scripts we approved earlier are available in the list. Let's select the Get Reboot Time script and watch it run. The Operations Monitor is used to display the progress of each step. The status of the completed script is shown here. Another area you can use to run a script is a machine group. This sample group contains two machines. To execute a script against the machines in the group, click Run Operation. For this example, let's schedule a script to run every weekday at midnight. To execute a script, First select IT Script in the Select Confirm Operation box. Select the script you want to run and then click Schedule. You may be prompted to supply a user account credential if one has not already been assigned. The script is now scheduled for execution and the scheduled task can be viewed using the Scheduled Console Tasks Manager. You can use an IT Scripts template to define exactly how a particular script should be executed. Let's create a template that determines which services are running on a machine. We'll use the Get Services as CSV script, one of the three scripts we approved earlier. For this example, let's modify the script's service name parameter so that the script searches for all services that begin with the letter W. When you are finished configuring the script template, click Save. We can now use the template to initiate the script. Let's run the script template against our sample machine group. The template we just created is the only one currently available. Once again, 
the operations monitor is used to display the progress of each step. This shows that the script was successfully executed. To see the detailed output from the script, you use IT Scripts Results View. When a script is executed on one or more target machines, the results are automatically reported to the console. This run result is the get reboot time script we ran against the single machine earlier in this demonstration. And this run result is the get services as CSV script we just ran against the two machines in our sample machine group. To view the output for an individual machine, you simply double click that machine. For example, the machine results output is contained within a text file. You can save or print the information as desired. The run results contain execution information about the script, when the script was run, whether the script was successful, etc. It also contains output for each of the machines scanned by the script. For example, Windows Explorer is used to open the output folder associated with the run result. The output folder contains subfolders for each machine that was scanned by the script. In many cases, a CSV file is also available. This allows you to use a spreadsheet program to view, organize, and save all script output. For example, the spreadsheet program contains information about all machines included in the run, saving you time as you analyze the results. One final note, new scripts are published regularly, so be sure to watch for scripts that may be useful in your organization. For more information about Shavlik Protect, go to the web URLs shown here. These two web pages contain additional video tutorials as well as a large number of Shavlik Protect user guides. Thanks for watching.